In this video, I get to introduce you to a brand new vocal reverb from Autotune. Let's dive in. First things first, let's go through the user interface and show you exactly what this thing can do. Here you can hit learn and it can learn the input type and give you the recommended input type for the vocal, the instrument that you're going to be using the reverb on. Next up, we have the presets where you can just roll the dice and get something really creative that you may have never thought of on your own. Now, for the most powerful thing about this plugin that I can't get enough of, the assist button. If I hit this, I'm getting AI powered assistance with the plugin. It's gonna learn the input and it's gonna give me recommendations, suggestions for reverb, delay, pre effects, and post effects. Check this out. When the world falls out, will we feel it all the same? Will we feel it all the same? Or will we keep on dancing? Whoa, whoa. I wasn't expecting that. Let's see what it came up with. All right, so you're gonna see right off the bat with the reverb assist, we get a style, a size, and a tone. We got a vintage plate that it's selected, a medium size, and a natural tone. You got a gritty where you could turn on a tube grit. You got 80s, and then you have octave down or up. So it'll actually add an octave to the reverb return. I'm gonna hit 80s because this is a pretty 80s track. Now we get a little breakdown of exactly what it did. We got a plate, 5.42 seconds, 80s style, with a nice EQ curve rolling off the top and the bottom. Let's hit apply. When the world falls out, will we feel it all the same? Will we feel it all the same? Will we keep on dancing? When the world falls out. It sounds dialed in. It sounds perfectly part of the track. But if you want to dial this in even more, there's more options. If you hit this advance at the bottom, you're going to get advanced features. So we got pre effects and we have post effects. So you can shape the pre effects into the reverb and then you can shape post reverb effects. Let's go through the delay first. Delay, we have a mono and a ping pong. You can set the times. This looks like it's at dotted eighth note and you can mix that in. You can sync it to the BPM of your uh, of your DAW, you got a feedback and a low pass. All right, so that's where we're gonna get some depth. Let's blend in a little bit of that delay. When the world falls out, will we feel it all the same? Great way to give your vocal some more depth and some more width if you wanna go ping pong. Now let's get into this auto EQ. What this will do is it'll get the same frequencies that are in the vocal, it will get that out of the way. And it does that by suppressing those frequencies. Okay, so check this out as we turn it up and down. When the world falls out, will we feel it all the same? Will we feel it all the same? Or will we keep on dancing? And you can hear it's really kind of suppressing that mid range that that vocal is sitting in, but it's kind of going, okay, let's tuck that back. Let the main lead vocal be up front and let the reverb be in the back and more detached from the vocal. So you could turn on throat, tube, smooth, or reverse. Now also you can pitch this up an octave or down an octave, which I think is really fun. And you can also blend that in to mix, to taste. So you turn on the throat, right? And maybe you want a longer throat length or a shorter throat length, depending on whether you're going high or you're going low. And I'm just going to make the throat pretty small. And then we can just kind of mix this in and listen to what this does. When the world falls out, will we feel it all the same? Will we feel it all the same? And then we got the tube. We can drive tube. We can drive distortion into the reverb return. And then this smooth. So you can basically smooth the harshness and sibilance in the reverb on top of the auto EQ. So let's smooth this out a little bit. When the world falls out, will we feel same will we feel it all the same or will we keep on dancing now reverse everybody knows what a reverse reverb is and let's pop that in when the world falls out will we feel it all the same will we feel it all the same really cool effect you can print that use it as an effect for a reverse into a chorus or a bridge and then you got the tone shaper which is the post reverb that's all pre-reverb that's going into the reverb now you got post effects where you can shape the reverb even more of course people like to kind of roll out the bottom because it could get really murky with reverb so you could do that right here um, you have a tilt which is amazing the tilt eq that's that's awesome and it's built right into this and you could just go okay i want to tilt it more to the high end or the low end oh! 
So let's check this out. I'm gonna tone shape and then we have a compressor and we have a gate at the end. When the world falls out, will we feel it all the same? Will we feel it all the same? Or will we keep on dancing? When the world falls out, will we feel it all the same? Will we feel it all the same? Or will we keep on dancing? And finally, on the post effects section, you have the width knob, which will give you more width in your reverb or a more narrow sounded mono reverb. When the world falls out, will we feel it all the same? Will we feel it all the same? Or will we keep on dancing? And that, my friends, is the vocal reverb from Autotune. Throw this on your vocals, throw it on instruments. Let me know how it goes.